What's up, Wula Gang? Today, this is my first interview I've done in two years. Uh, I feel like, to me, this is a very special guest to have because he is a black owner of a basketball league in my town, which is something that we desperately need in this city uh, to bring a lot of light to urban areas and people that didn't really get to experience basketball at a young age. Uh, but I'll let him introduce himself. Hi guys, uh, I'm Tyler O'Quinn. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, this is um, he's the owner of Midtown uh, Basketball League. Um, it's a league that we play every Sundays for um, it, it ranges from six to eight from times. Uh, but we're just going to get into you know how this started and how this came about. So my first question is, what made you start this league? Man, bro, I'm a hooper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as somebody who plays the game. Um, people needed an outlet, and we was just playing one day at the church, man, and somebody was like, wouldn't it be dope if we had a league? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, and little did anybody know, I had already had a three-on-three -three tournament with the name Midtown, so yeah. I was like, why not see if we can make it pop on the five-on-five? Five? Yeah, because I remember playing, I, what was the first year? That The first year you did it was 20... 2020. So we, yeah. we started, we started when COVID started. Yeah. Like March of 2020 is when we kicked off, COVID happened, and it was like, who gonna let us get in the gym? I'm making mm -hmm. phone calls, like, hey, how are we gonna make this work? Like, It, it was, was still fire turnout. Um, it was. Where do you see this progressing to in the next five years? How do you? In the, by the next five years, man, I really see a NBA inside of the city. I call it a club league. I see, mm -hmm. you know, we got clubs, people done, done, done bought into what we're doing. We got, you know, brands or names, if you will, that people lock in. We have drafts, we have a roster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like have a little tryout combine kind of deal. Yeah, like, Cause I, I feel like this is very fire in my opinion. I know I don't really, I haven't really been able to tell you this, but like it's it's very um, eye opening because you, you, you not like, you know, just the biggest, person that started, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, anybody can do it. You know anybody can do it, anybody can do you know, it. You know, not right. trying to, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm saying like, just like if somebody is sitting on their couch and they're like, I want to start something, you can do it too. It's, yeah, you know hey, what I'm saying? You heard the man, you, you can me? do it too, he said. You can do you it can just do the it. same way. Um, are you, I never asked you this either, are you from Wichita? Yeah, I'm from the city, man. From? I grew up on uh, Pawnee and Washington. Out there by the Pawnee and Broadway, Walmart. Oh on yeah, the I know, yeah, I know yeah. exactly where that's at. I went to me. Shout out to the Mustangs. <laughs> and then I, I went to Brooks. I never went. To, oh, I went to Brooks. Seventh grade, I got kicked out. <laughs> but that's when I went to Jardine. But that's a story for another time. Uh, also, have you been happy with the success that it's having so far? I, I definitely call it all joy, man. I give all praise, glory, and honor back to God on, on from my standpoint on my end because. When you're working with people, you need his grace. You need his favor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anybody can do anything at any time, but we just a group of men who love to hoop. And we come out, we just do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we, we go to work the next day. You know what I'm saying? But all the more, it's given us an opportunity to, like, deal with mental health issues. So depression, anxieties, fears, concern, worries, baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? All, 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 all of that. that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just it's something for us to do. From a from a man standpoint, that you get to come out, share some some benevolence with other men, but also at the same time, kind of release some of your testosterone mm -hmm. and get some things. Anger off from the week, you know, somebody might have pissed you off at work. Somebody might have slapped your girl in front of you, hey, and you ain't do nothing. Anything, no, you know what I'm nothing. saying? Yeah. For real. What's what's been the the hardest thing about this business? The hardest thing? Yeah. Cause every day I wake up and we grind it. So mm -hmm. I I wouldn't say that one thing is more difficult or challenging than the other. Yeah. But if I, I'm gonna be honest and say, if if we were not an organized group of people, that would probably be the most challenging thing mm -hmm. because you have so many pieces that go into this. We don't just roll out the ball and say, hey, go hoop. Mm -hmm. We got people taking stats. We got people doing videos. We got highlights that are being made. Mm -hmm. We got registration that needs to be done. We got organiz organizing with the facilities that we're using, calling, making those phone calls and cutting those deals. Like organization would probably have to be my number one like challenge to make sure that this thing just stays organized into one, one step at a yeah, time. Yeah, because people are iffy sometimes or sometimes, you know, stuff happens. Life is... Life is, there's nothing perfect about life or nothing like that. So right. I understand that for sure. Um, off topic, what is your top 
five Wichita athletes all time. Top five of all time? Just Wichita. That's tough. Yeah, like your favorite There's five. so many. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's a, can I, I, can I count two as one? Because they got the same last name? I'll let you have that, yeah. Bet. I love the Brown, the Brown brothers. Okay. Everybody thinks about the football stuff, mm -hmm. but really the noise can hold too, for mm -hmm. real, for real. Um, Top five, uh, definitely, you know, in the top five. So them together. Um, I've been a fan of Dorian Roberts. He, I don't, I don't feel like he went to Heights, bro. He was a hooper. He played football. He went to K-State and played football. Um, Dorian was just a pure athlete. And growing up, when I grew up during that time, I graduated in 2010, you know what I'm saying? He's an old nine guy. He was somebody that really just like caught people off guard. Um, so he's in there at the second spot. I would probably have to throw my dog, Linwood Sexton, in there. He's an old man. He's passed away, RIP, Mr. Sexton. Um, but he's an older cat, bro. Three-sport athlete. Went ham at East High School. Went crazy at Wichita State. Held records. Was in the books. But I met Mr. Sexton as an old man. And he bought me my first varsity bowling ball. When I told him I made the bowling team at East and I was I varsity. I didn't even know you bowled. Yeah, I'm a bowler. <laughs> That's uh, That was my choice. Hooper bowl. Hooper so bowl. what was your highest game? What's your highest game on that? My highest game is a 295. Okay. That's fire, though. I shot a 295. It was a tough day, but you know. So, so that's that's what. That's three. three yeah, yeah. Uh, two Mr. Four. Sexton, the the doom. Joe Randall. I've heard that name actually. He played for. Because I know you a different period of time. So. Right, right. He played. He played for uh, OSU and then played for the Cowboys. Uh, played for Southeast in high school and played for the Dogs in Little League. Mm -hmm. um, just a phenomenal player, bro. And there's so many athletes out there playing. Yeah. Can't just put it all on this yeah. last one. I'm, look, jeez, I'm gonna go with Henry Robinson, bro. D Mac. Oh yeah, for sure. D Mac was an athlete, man. He was solid. I, I met him my eighth grade year. I transferred over, so I always played upper grade mm -hmm. when I played sports as a little kid in terms of football. And um, when I went to eighth grade and played with the Colts, I met him, and that brother was just a different breed, man. K State. Yeah. yeah. I grew up with his little brother, so. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah Roy. He, he Shout out Roy, man. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, you been making me gotta do some, some research on some of these people, cause I didn't, no, I don't know. You hey. know what I'm saying? I know the Brown brothers. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know Henry. But I, I don't want to go to Hey, man, look up Mr. <laughs> Sexton. Look up Joe Randall, man. They, they're they both, like I said, coming out of Wichita. Because we got a whole different five. Because I got our generation different. We got Brees. Yep. We got Grady. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Xavier. Exactly. And I just went to watch them today. Yeah. He's cold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I seen him in middle school, and I knew he was, like, different. I was like, he's, he's, he's going to be something for <laughs> sure, for sure. But that's about all the questions I had, man. I'm, I'm glad I got to sit down and talk to you about, you know, certain things. And I hope you enjoyed this interview. Yes, sir. Um, we got stuff Shout to get to. Shout out to Gang. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. And y'all keep watching for more interviews because they're going to be popping up on your screen more and more as y'all continue to watch my journey. And I'm going to see you all in the next video. For sure, Peace. man. Give us some love. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uh, Midtown Basketball League. And I will put it in the link, and I will put it on the screen so y'all can see that. Funny. Subscribe to YouTube channel and hit that like and subscribe button. Oh. <laughs>